Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're gonna talk about my salary and expenses as an AI engineer. So this is a new updated version. I did one a couple of months ago, but my situation has changed a lot. So I actually just moved to Dubai recently. I'm a full-time engineer in Dubai, working with all these different things on the sideline, both my YouTube, courses, I have a lot of freelance work, I have a um, contract based full time position as an AI engineer, I have consultations, promotions, collaborations with different companies and so on. Okay, so we'll start with the income, my full time AI position, which is a contract based work. So it's kind of like freelance, but I make $10,730 on done that contract every single month. Then we have the freelance work I make around 6,000 on that it is a bit more variable. Sometimes I make 5,000 sometimes I make 7,000. Then we have YouTube here which is act like the smallest income that I have. So it is around like $400. Again, that depends on the AdSense. Uh, the number of ads, the number of viewers and so on on YouTube. But again, when I started out with my YouTube channel, I actually like, thought that YouTube would make me the most. But as we can see here, pretty interesting. It doesn't really like generate a lot of money for me, even though I have around like 200,000 views per month. Then I also have my online courses. I make around $1,200 on that every single month, which is also pretty cool. Then we have my consultations, which could be like one-on-one -on -one consultations with students, but it could also be with companies, just like single consultations. Then I also have some promotions and collaborations. So I've done some collaborations with companies, creating video tutorials, creating some playlists, helping them out, and also doing some promotions of some products and services, which are relevant to my viewers. So that's basically my full income here. If we just like round that up, it is slightly under like twenty thousand dollars per month. we're just going to break down the taxes as in the last video so in the last video you guys were like blown away by the high taxes in denmark so because i had to work here in dubai i had a lot of things going on you can open a, a business in dubai relatively easy you can sponsor yourself in visa like business in dubai is just way easier compared to denmark and and a lot of countries out there in the world so it just kind of like makes made sense to to make that move and also just to experience like new cultures a whole new world so it make perfect sense it was no brain for me but right now in Dubai there's 0% tax so the total amount after taxes is around $20,000 per month. So let's now break down the expenses. I both have expenses in Denmark, but also in Dubai now, because sometimes I'm visiting in Denmark, uh, holiday visiting friends and family and so on. But I'm mainly, um, I'm mainly in Dubai where my home place are. So the rent in Dubai, I pay around like $1,575 per month for that. So that's actually like a decent rent in Dubai compared to like what I get. So I have a studio apartment. I have a video here on the channel if you guys want to check that out. It is actually like a pretty nice studio. There's everything that I need. All, all bills are included, internet, gas, um, electricity and all those different kind of things and also air conditioning so that is really important when you live in Dubai especially like in the summer then I have like no car and no insurance in Dubai but then I just like take uh, taxis um, Ubers or the metro so that will be around like uh, $150 per month then we also have some flight tickets back and forth every single month or like when I'm actually like going home on holiday or like somewhere else in the world. So that is around like 450 to $500 per month that I'm spending on flight tickets. Then we have gym and sports. It is also included in the rent for my apartment. So again, that's all good. Then we have some fun in Dubai, $200 for that. Like that is a bit more variable depending on like when I want to go out, uh, do some stuff with friends, family, go to the cinema. All those things are included in the $200. Some, some months it could be like 500, some months it could be like zero, also depending like where I am and how much work I have to do. So that is my expenses in Dubai. Let's now break down Denmark again, which is kind of like the same as I had before. So I also have an apartment in Denmark when I'm visiting here on, on vacation, holiday, and just visiting family and so on. So that is $1,413 per month. Then we have some utilities and internet here as well. I basically keep my expenses in Denmark just because I'm going back and forth like a lot, visiting friends and uh, family and stuff like that. And, and I don't really want to like just rent out like Airbnbs or like something like that. I basically just want to like be able to just take the flight, go home and then go back again whenever I want to. So that is why I do that. It could be optimized like significantly, but it is like worth it for me. And it also adds a lot of like life quality uh, to myself, which is also an important factor, even though I give up a lot of money each month. Then I have my car and insurance here in Denmark as well. So that is around like $500. We have some food here. So I basically just split up the food between Denmark and Dubai. 
um, it is kind of like in that range Up again it is a bit more variable depending from month to month some of like the restaurants cafes and so on are also included in the food then i have gym and sports in denmark still have my memberships in the gym and so on and also when i play paddle tennis so i keep all my expenses in denmark basically just for like life quality and also just to have everything when i'm going back and forth i'll rather spend my time on act like doing the development work on some cool projects do a lot of cool content create courses and so on instead of figuring out like all the formalities going back and forth basically just spending time on something that I don't want. So I feel that is worth it, at least for now. Maybe it might change in the future. So if you just sum up all the expenses for both Denmark and Dubai, it adds up to around like $5,400 per month. Again, it is a bit on the higher end, but again, I also give up a lot of money to have this simplicity when going back and forth between friends and family and being in Dubai. So if you just combine all of it, if we take the monthly income and also the monthly expenses, subtract it from each other, we land at around like $14,500 per month. And this is also after taxes. So it also makes sense because I'm doing like a lot of investments, pretty much like all my profit every month. I put that into investments. I invest most of it in stocks. I also invest a lot in my life quality. I have a lot of things going on, like most of the weeks I'm working 70, 75, sometimes like 80 hours every week. I'm almost like all the time at the phone, either like answering comments, emails, whatever. So I'm basically like at work 24 seven. So it is a lot of stress, like a lot of things going on, but it is also what I enjoy. That is basically like what makes all of this possible together with like building my whole personal brand on LinkedIn, YouTube, creating content, basically just being visible out there. So thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope I've given you some insights into like AI engineers, the income and the expenses. This is a bit odd and not like the standard way because I have like a lot of expenses in different places. I have a lot of different income streams. So I'm not including the profits from my investments and so on and, and some other business as well. This is basically just my income that I get in every single month. This is again what I can rely on. The investments are going up and down depending on the market, the companies and so on. So I hope to see you guys in one of the other videos and I hope I have inspired you guys or like motivated you guys to look for more like income possibilities, like income streams, how we can set up like different side business. It could either be like online courses, some freelance work, some small freelance work on the sideline and so on. I hope you can use this for something or else I'll just see you next video guys. Bye for now. So if you want to take your machine learning, AI and computer vision skills to the next level, I also have my courses on the website. You can go check them out. We have everything from update detection with deployment, update tracking with Yolo V8. We also have transformers and segmentation courses. The most interesting one for me is definitely like this research paper implementation course where we learn how to actually like implement research paper architecture. So we're going to have the architecture on one side, we're going to have code on the other side. 